A little bit about Rhodes Hotel. It was built in 1893 by Abraham Kaufman and Newton and Clara Rhodes purchased it and Newton was a traveling salesman and he was gone a lot. So Clara ran the hotel when they opened it up and um, they had two kids, Hazel and Everett. Once Newton passed, Clara wanted to keep the doors open to the place. So eventually it became a speakeasy and a brothel. Supposedly, Dillinger and Capone spent time here. Um, I've heard Capone's name a few times and we've had the place for like four years now. And Dillinger, on the other hand, I've had people that live here their entire life that have stopped me and, hey, you the guy at the hotel? Yeah, let me tell you a story. The interesting thing was the story has always been the same with Dillinger and the, uh, all the people that lived in town here would tell me the same things that before there used to be steps at the back of the building that went up to the upstairs door at the very end of the hallway and Dillinger would come in through the back, which made sense because he probably didn't want anybody to know he was here. So I, there's probably some truth to that, I would imagine. So this, these two rooms, a little bit about these rooms, were part of the rooms. One was a music room, one was a library. I don't know if you noticed when you were coming in, there's railroad tracks like a block away. Yeah, yeah, I crossed those. This was a layover for the train okay. going into Chicago. So uh, a lot of people been in and out of this place. So this is the other part of the room. This was a game room. Uh, a lot of times we have people come in and maybe play cards and stuff and it, uh, sometimes it will stir up some activity uh, in this room. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite rooms to be in. I come into this room quite often, but uh, I definitely suggest that you spend time downstairs as well because it's just as active downstairs as it is upstairs. So about upstairs, of course you can probably notice the, the place is on the, the historical registry. This is one of the things that was here when we took over. So it's kind of neat, interesting, right? <laughs> so um, when I was mentioning downstairs about Dillinger supposedly being here, the word was the steps were down at the bottom corner and he would come up through this back door here. Of course, you can't go out the door now because it's sealed up, the steps are gone. But uh, who knows? And supposedly, this was the room that he stayed in, room two, back here behind you. Oh, okay. So whether or not that's the truth, who knows, but it's interesting that the same story right. kind of pops up time to time. So this is the kids' room. I honestly don't know much about the kids, but we do have a little girl that we know is here. Really don't know much about her, but a lot of people have gotten her like through EVPs. Um, the Booth brothers were here. Uh, they filmed a documentary called The Attached. Oh, okay. And they actually put one of the recordings, you can hear her in that documentary saying goody. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, and they, they caught it upstairs. Oh, that's up so here cool. In the hallway. Uh, an active room. So one of those rooms I would definitely spend some time in. And then I'll take you down the hallway here. Remember earlier I said that they had a son named Everett Rhodes? This room here was where he actually passed away. Oh. He contracted tuberculosis and they quarantined him in this room and this is where he died. Mm -hmm. So another one of these rooms that's very active. So another one that I strongly suggest that you, you should spend some time in here as well a okay. lot of people get some activity again i'll, I'll be kind of vague with that what we get right. because i don't want to influence you know what what's uh, you know you, you may or may not get <laughs> um this room over here there was a preacher by the name of lester poor that stayed here and the rumor is that he hung himself in here and actually in the attic in the attic okay in the attic, but this was the room that he stayed in. And again, his name was Lester Poor. So this is another one of those rooms that's really active. I, I would suggest spending some time in here as well. And then uh, I'll take you down the hall. Of course you have two bathrooms here, which is 
when the place was built a little bit, these were, were, we assume these rooms were actually hotel rooms in the beginning as well because they didn't have bathrooms back then, it was chamber pots. Oh, okay. So we believe that there were actually 10 hotel rooms here instead of eight and then two Oh, and then they, so, yeah. Yep. Huh. Yeah. This goes to the attic. Whether or not you'll want to go up there, it's up to you. It's closed off a little bit, but um, yeah, you can take a peek up there and you can decide later if you want to go up there. But a little bit about the attic. It is dangerous. Oh, it is? The, the floor wise. Um, <laughs> the, there's areas where there's no floor. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. So if I go up there, so, I gotta watch them. Please be careful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you go up there, yeah, definitely want to be careful up there. Uh, but that's supposedly where the preacher okay. supposedly hung. hung do people get activity upstairs in the attic? They do. They do. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so it, I probably have to go up there then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would just keep this door closed when you come back down so he didn't come out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this one. So during the brothel period, there was a lady named Sarah that was one of the girls that was staying here. This was her room. This is a very active room. This is an, another room that you should spend some time in. A lot of people have different experiences and stuff in here. So you should definitely spend a, a decent amount of time in now, here. Now, <laughs> would you say that the activity has been geared more towards men? Actually, or is it kind of a little, a little bit of both? It's a combination. Yeah, I mean, a lot of men have had a lot of experiences in here. Probably a little bit more so, maybe than women. Hmm. But it's still right. Both have quite a few experiences in here. Yeah. Okay. Mike is actually the founder of the Lost Limbs Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that seeks to provide financial assistance to the families of amputee children who are in need of medical and prosthetic assistance. Mike has been able to do some amazing things with some amazing people for these kids. Of course, none of that is possible without the help from you guys. If you'd like to help out the foundation, you can help by donating, purchasing shirts, and attending charity events and conventions. If you'd like to check out some of his work, you can find it at Lost Limbs FDN on Instagram. And you can always find it at lostlimbsfoundation.org. I'm just gonna do a quick EVP session in here. Is there anybody in this room with me? Are there any little kids that want to play? Do you like when people come in here and try to talk to you? My name's Amber, what's your name? This begins a long, frustrating battle between me and my new portal device. So it wasn't working correctly, and no matter what I did, I could not get it to work. And I just got it to work before I had left. So I spent a good hour trying to fix this portal device and come to find out it wasn't the portal device that was broken, it was actually my spirit box. But thankfully, the tour guide actually let me use his spirit box, so no worries. So. I am in Everett's room. Bed. Yeah, it's a bed. Do you know whose room this is? And this chair. Do you know my 
name? Can you say it more clearer for me? Did you like living here? child's name that's here in this building? Little boy. I thought it was a girl. child here? down here that wants to talk? Can you say your name through the device over here? Do you want me here? to me or no? Do you like when people come in and ask you questions? Or is it kind of annoying when people come here? Can I talk to one of the kids? Who's the little 
girl. Can you tell me her name, please? I'm just trying to help her out. That way people can address her by her name. I understand if you don't want to tell me her name. Are you trying to protect her? I promise I'm just here to be your friend. I'm not going to be mean to you or anything like that. Would you like to know more about me? Yes. Yes? Well, my name's Amber. Hi. I am 27. How old are you? I work on different things, like communicating with spirits and trying to help if you need help. That's what I do. I hope that was helpful. Sarah, what was your job here? Like, what was that like? Enjoy working here and living here. Were the men ever rude to you? Okay, so I'm going to do an EVP session right here in between these two uh, parlor rooms. Is there anybody here? I'm actually going to set the EVP recorder down. I don't want to move it around or anything like that. Does Sarah want to come say hi to me? Are you guys, are you guys protective over the children? like some sort of bag or something? I don't know where it came from. Do you know what building we're in? So 
hot, guys. Do you want to ask the questions? You can ask the questions. Yeah, I can They ask. might respond better to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is anyone in here with us? You want to come over to one of these red lights and let us know you're in here with us. Are you happy that I came back out to hang out some tonight? fridge there but I mean you can kind of hear it buzzing kind of yeah I hear it now I mean, it's not it shouldn't be loud like that no yeah. yeah I'm not sure what that might have been huh. anyone want to come down here and hang out with us in this room the closer you get to one of these red lights we're going to know you're here. So you come over. That's what's going to happen. Got any questions? Not really. No, I pretty much asked them all. <laughs> oh, yeah. You already went through. You can see what Yeah, I can check out kind of visually see and then if I hear anything You'll be able to yeah. as well too, it's a little bit easier to hear versus being in the room more. <clears throat> so uh yeah, do you, do you have any questions you want to start with in here? I wanna see if I'll make a knock noise. Can you knock on something for me like this? Is the preacher in here with us tonight? Can you walk over closer to the bed by the red light? If you set that off, we'll know you're in here with us and we can ask you a few more questions. Would that be okay? Is anybody down the hallway? How about if I knock at this end? Can you knock at that end? Anybody else up here with us is kind of warm too. Oh, what was his name? Lester? Lester. Lester, have you met God? So, is this actually the room you stayed in, Lester? down the hall and it looked like something 
went out a little bit, but I didn't see anything go back, and I didn't see it go all the way across. That's why I was wondering if maybe hmm. there was a car that cut around the corner or something like that. But It's possible. There is a window down there, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, see, well, that's the way what I saw was like in front of the door there, that window in front of that, it moved over. But I didn't, I didn't see anything go all the way across, and I didn't see anything go back. I don't know. Do you think we should go down there? Yeah, let's go check it out. From back there, it looked like something moved out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I didn't see it go all the way across, and I didn't see it go back, if that makes any huh. sense. That's why I was wondering. Like it didn't cross the whole window, it just crossed part of the window. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I don't know if maybe it was a car. I don't know, are there any roads over there? Yeah, I can't, like, yeah. I can't yeah, see there's it. the streets right over here, so if somebody would have turned the corner, it might have made some kind of reflection, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I don't it's know. just odd that it didn't go way across. Um, yeah. Wait, that's not, that's not me. No. Just, just to be sure. Yeah, you can, you can move it. Not that either. Well, it didn't Did stop. It? No, because I mean, I I had it yeah. all the way over here and it was still doing it. So it can wasn't... you can you do that again for us? Can you make that light up, please? No, you gotta actually, you gotta get close to it. There, there you go. There you go. So it shows it's not the phone because... Yeah, because it's doing it on the yeah. end. Can you get really close to it like you were just a minute ago? Good. Thank you. Okay. So if you can do that, can you say your name into this device over here, please? I still make this way out. <laughs> no, I'm hungry too. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Strong. Yeah. colors are you a male or a female Can you let go of the device, please? As soon as you said it. Huh? That's very interesting. Yeah. You can go back to it if you want. If you're a male, can you light it up to blue? And if you're a female, can you light it up to yellow? Or not yellow, uh, green? I don't know why I'm pointing at it. They don't. <laughs> Or if you don't want to answer the question, you can light it up all the way to white if you want. Are you still in here? It was interesting, like, so he said. It's not even, it's just dinging. It's not even, yeah. oh, wait, it's blue. It was blue. Oh, is it blue? Yeah. Okay. Couldn't see. There we go. Okay, good. You're still in here with us. Thanks for staying in here with us. Let's try to do it again, dear. If you want to speak to us, you can always talk into that device over there, too. I 
stomach again. Sorry. <laughs> Just uh, making sure, making note of that. Over the course of the next 10 minutes, the REM master continues to go on and off, and we're not quite really getting answers because it's rotating between all the different colors. I think next time I shoot something like that, I will do it with my phones, or I will shoot in color so that way you guys can see what's going on as it's going on, and I don't necessarily have to narrate it for you. Um, I was really hoping for EVPs, but we didn't get any. So we decided that we were actually going to take this REM master into Sarah's room and see if it would go off in there and see if we could get EVPs in there. And unfortunately, it did not. But the interesting thing was there was this like incense lamp thingy and it was swinging. And I'm not really sure how it was swinging or why, but it was. <laughs> 